Good morning and welcome to Take 5. I'm your host, Carla Salinas. Today we take you to the skies with a business right here in the valley teaching you how to fly. Take 5's Melissa Olivares becomes a pilot for the day. Take a look. We're taking you sky high on Take 5. We're at South Texas Aviation Academy in Edinburgh. If you're looking to cross fly an airplane off your bucket list, then do we have some news for you. We're a flight school. We teach people how to fly airplanes, starting out from uh, zero hours, never been in an airplane before, all the way up through uh, commercial and flight instructor ratings. South Texas Aviation Academy has arrived and is ready to help those looking to take to the skies all on their own. Owners and instructors Matthew Taylor and Dustin Johnson opened their school in October 2023 with the goal of making aviation classes readily available to the RGV. I both wanted to stay instructing and this, this was kind of the best way. We have, we have the most influence over how the instruction is being done, um, over the maintenance on the airplanes and different things that way. Uh, just it gave us the most most freedom to be able to do the best instruction. This area is very heavy in students. Yeah. The supply and demand here is there's not very many instructors here in the valley. Um, I think there's only probably seven or eight in the whole valley and there's plenty of students. Looking to offer a more personalized experience, the Aviation Academy moves at your own pace and begins the entire process with a discovery flight. A quick 30 minute plane ride that lets you try before you buy. Because you'll know in a half hour if you love it or if it's not for you. Most people, 90% of people will love it and say this is for me and then some people are gonna know right away. It's a good way of judging if you wanna go through with it. And then from there, you know, start booking lessons and, and work to get your private pilot license first. As far as the timeline with the training, you can pretty much go as fast or slow as you want to. Um, it's self-paced. Having a discovery flight of my own, I can say the view and experience are absolutely out of this world. And if I can do it, rest assured, a pilot's license is in reach and possible for everyone. Oh, you can do it. That's you know we have students from all ages, all the way from 15 years old up to in their 70s. You know retired people that it's what they've always wanted to do, always wanted to try it. So yeah, just. Come out, take a discovery flight, and give it a shot. And if you're thinking your fear of heights may be standing in the way of you and your license, Matt and Dustin offer this as a consolation. I'm terrified of heights. So Deathly afraid of heights over yes, here. Don't, uh, I, I don't know what it is about being in the airplane, but you, the experience of the, the height doesn't seem to play into it. It's fun. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, that's the thing. Even if, uh, the, and the, the doors that it opens up are, are amazing. Opens a lot of doors. For more information on how you can begin your flight journey, you can visit South Texas Aviation Academy on their website at stx-aviation.com or you can also check them out on their Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok pages. For Take 5, I'm Millicent Olivares. If you like to keep your feet on the ground, we have some fun stuff for you too. Explore the historic downtown Rio Grande City on the Bessie Trolley Tours. Take Five's Trista Castillo went for a ride and this is what she saw. That's right, I'm in Rio Grande City today where we're going to tour the town on a trolley. It's the only one in the valley, so let's go ahead and check it out. History will always be a part of Rio Grande City's culture, and we're taking you with us to explore the hidden gems of the city. We won't be walking or biking around, we'll be boarding this beautiful green trolley called the Bessie 3. Inside, there are wooden accents, spacious seating, and huge windows so passengers won't miss a single thing. Only thing they ask is that you book ahead. We do ask for at least a day's notice, but it's an incredible tour and the trolley tour guide 
is just wonderful. She knows her way, and she makes her way around all of Rio Grande City and talks about all of the historical buildings. There's a lot of history in our little town, in our little city. First of all, I want to welcome you to Rio Grande City. Thank you for being here and visiting our beloved city. Rio Grande City has been doing these two-hour tours since 2002, and Amnita has been their professional tour guide for over 17 years. Never in my thoughts did I think I was going to be a tour guide, but I love what I do. Born and raised here in Rio Grande City, so I enjoy it. It's my uh, fun job. My, my city is my love. The tour takes you through the city where you see historic buildings and homes that have been restored, run down, or completely transformed into something new. You pass by the famous Laborde House, which was built in the late 1800s by French architects. This now hotel is rumored to be haunted. So the Laborde House is quite haunted. You can spend the room of the night there, and you might have company. Oh my God. Also, let's not forget about Rio Grande City's secret tunnels. And that is where the tunnel starts. The tunnels were very important to the economic development of Rio Grande City. They were used to smuggle foreign goods in the United States. We even got a chance to see inside Fort Ringgold, where you can tour Robert E. Lee's headquarters that was built during the Civil War in 1848. The main reason for building a home here on this hill was to see what they could get a glimpse of that was going on in the Mexican terrain. He stayed at the fort for about a month. Records indicate that he slept in a tent. However, he probably joined the post commander for dinner here at this home. After the tour, you can visit the historic Kelsey Bass Museum, where there are more historical facts and items on display from local heroes and community founders. You can go online and look up uh, trolley tours and it should come up and then you will call our Main Street office who will go ahead and set up the tour. So if you want to immerse yourself in the history of the Rio Grande Valley, consider taking the trolley tour. It's only $10. You may learn something new and make some amazing friends along the way. For Take 5, I'm Trista Castillo. If adrenaline and fast cars are more your thing, then check out this one-of-a-kind park in Texas. Welcome to the adrenaline-fueled world of motorsports, where speed meets passion. This is the Edinburgh Motorsports Park. Here at the park, the roar of the engines and the smell of burning rubber fill the air. If you've never seen something like this in person, I can honestly tell you there's nothing quite like witnessing a race car driver revving up their engine, ready to conquer the track. This place is a safe haven for gearheads like race car driver Saith Rodriguez and CEO Albert Rodriguez. Edinburgh Motorsports Park, in a sense, it's a place where you could showcase your cars, have a fun day, fun night, bring the families, top of squad, you know, bring your barbecue pit, have a good time, uh, and see the guys that bring their cars and race. Now you could bring your also, you could bring your car and race yourself. Every Friday night starting at seven, people go to the Edinburgh Motorsport Park to race their cars and enjoy the thrilling spectacle. And it's not just about the adrenaline rush. The love for speed grows deep with uh, with kids and, and adults as well, but it's not the right way to do it at the highway. Highway, it's nice roads and stuff like that. It's just easy for somebody to go fast and get in danger very, very quickly. Uh, the track provides a place, a safe place where you're able to compete, have fun, and not do that, you know, and it's controlled environment as much as you can control it. We prep the track. Uh, we also have EMS ambulance on, on standby, and we have a special uh, equipment on the track that cradles uh, the racer and not, not to get, you know, uh, have, have an accident. We also have rules, regulations that have to 
follow. Here at the Edinburgh Motorsport Park, Albert just wants everyone to feel welcomed and safe. I didn't know you can actually bring your own car, no matter what kind, and see how it does on the track or on the burnout pit. The burnout pit is a place where you, uh, instead of doing donuts on the local parking lot and getting a ticket, getting a fine, you could do it here safely and uh, we have barriers for it, we have rules for it. And uh, we have uh, uh, like Friday night under the lights, it's, it's well lit and you can have all the fun you want. From its origins in the 1940s to its current status as a premier racing destination, the Edinburgh Motorsport Park continues to write its own chapter in the history of motorsports. The track in the 1940s used to be a training facility for pilots and after the war, they didn't know what to do with the runway, so Gearheads uh, wanted to make it a racetrack, so four or five owners after we're here, and it's, and it's, been, uh, it's been fun. So why not take advantage of this cool venue right here in our backyard? So I got one question for you. What are you doing next Friday night? We're the only racetrack in South Texas. The closest one here is Houston. Providing the service to the RGV, it's, it's our main goal. Have them come here and, and have a fun, safe place to race. Until next time, remember to keep the pedal to the metal. Coming up on Take 5, this boutique is personalizing your accessories and they have a special discount for our viewers. Take 5 Off is back right after this break. I am so excited for our Take 5 Off today because if you're like me, then you need personalized everything. Joining us today is Miley Fashion Store owner, Aili Garcia. Aili, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Carla, for having me. Thank you so much. Okay, so <laughs> like I mentioned, I'm super excited and we're gonna get into everything that you brought for us today, mm -hmm. but you do have a very special discount for our viewers. Can you kind of explain to them what it is? Yes, we have 10% off your whole purchase. You can uh, go to the store and let us know that you saw this here in Take 5 and we will give you the discount. Or you can also do it at the checkout in our Shopify website or uh, messages through Instagram or Facebook. Okay, well let's <laughs> go ahead and get started. So let's start from the left to the right. So right off the bat, I'm seeing some metallics here. I'm seeing yes. some wallets, some neutral colors. Kind of tell us what you brought for us today. Yes, we have a lot of bags and tote bags with uh, personalized letters. Mm -hmm. You can add your letters right here or whatever you want. Uh, they already come with one, in, one initial, but you can add more. You can add hearts, you can add uh, stars. And this is our medium tote. We have a lot of different sizes and different styles. I love this bag so much because you know what? It's that perfect transition to the spring. Yes. Summer is coming up too. So if you're looking for that pop of color, that's gonna be your best bet right there. I love mm -hmm. this color so much. But of course, for our women that do like the more neutral colors, we got them covered too over here. How long does the process take for you to personalize it? Maybe like two minutes. It's very fast. Oh, so wow. you just, uh, you can go to the store, select your letters, uh, we take it to the bag, we do it and brought it to you. Like it's very easy, Amazing. very fast. <laughs> so, you know, this does make for that perfect gift as well. You know, yes. if you're looking for that gift, you want to add that personalized touch, then this is one of the best gifts because it's so personal. Yes, it is. Uh, a lot of my customers come just to get gifts because it's very special just to like think something personalized, something custom. Uh, I think it's a very special gift and we have a lot of customers that do that. Just come and grab a mini tote and personalize it and take it for gifts. It's something new and it's very trendy. So I think that's what inspired me. It's something that I liked. The store, it's located in 2313 uh, Har Harvey Drive, Suite 10 in McAllen. Well, thank you so much for joining us today and giving our viewers that very special discount. Thank you, Carla. Thank you so much for having me. Again, make sure you take advantage of that special discount offer today. Head over to Store on Instagram to place that order. Happy shopping. Listen up, first time home buyers. This local bank is giving away money to purchase a home. We'll give you all the details coming up next. The following segment is supported by Lone Star National Bank. 
Good morning. Today is the day to secure your dream home with the Lone Star National Bank. The bank just launched a program to help first time home buyers. And joining us today to talk all about it is Senior Vice President of the Mortgage Department, Matthew Dang. Matthew, thanks so much for joining us today. Great. Thank you for having me. Matt, I have to ask you. Is it true that Lone Star National Bank has a million dollars, you heard that right, a million dollars to lend to residents right here in the Rio Grande Valley? That is very true and it's actually more than a million dollars. It's actually 1.55 million. Um, we recently um, partnered up with the Federal Home Loan Bank of Dallas and we are super excited to have this available for our community. That is so exciting. All right, we're all intrigued. How, do, how does it work? What's the process? So um, it is a first time home buyers program that requires somebody who hasn't owned a home in the last three years. There's also some income restrictions, but um, they can apply uh, for $20,000 in down payment assistance without having to pay that back. So it's really $20,000 in free money towards closing costs or down payment and um, it doesn't have to be paid back, which is just phenomenal. Yeah, that's amazing. And you have to do it right now because it's first come, first serve basis, correct? Exactly, so the, the Federal Home Loan Bank of Dallas secured 15.5 million for the community, but it's being utilized quickly. So three million has already been used. And so even though we have 1.55 million, it requires us to, once the funds are depleted, it, it's gone. And so we wanna be able to help and utilize all 1.55 million, which equates to about 75 families that we can assist with this. That's amazing. And you know, I'm a Valley girl. I'm from the Valley. I've seen the Valley grow and it continues to grow. Why does Lone Star National Bank think this is so important to do for the residents of the RGV? Yeah, and so, you know, there are counties here in the RGV that is one of the most underserved in the country. And it's our job to make sure that we continue to help this uh, area grow help the community, and what that does is really uplift the community, help build generational wealth, and all the good things of owning a home. So we're super excited about it. Yeah, so are we. All right, so we're ready. What do we have to do? Where do we go? Call Lone Star National Bank. We have experts here ready to help. And, and one thing I forgot to mention, $500 down minimum. So all you have to do is when you apply, all you need is $500 down to get yourself into a home. So we're super excited about it. Call us, Lone Star National Bank. We're here to help. All right, Matthew, thank you so much for joining us today to talk about this incredible opportunity. Guys, seize the opportunity right now. Visit LoneStarNationalBank.com to apply. Coming up on Take 5, an event with live music and lots of fun to benefit several nonprofits, how you can be a part of it right after this break. The following segment is supported by Bayou Brewfest. Bayou Brewfest is back for its second year and joining us today with all the details is Edinburgh Rotary Club President Danny Torres to give us all of the details of this year's events. Danny, thank you so much for coming and joining us today. Thank you, Millie, for having me. Appreciate yeah. it. So we're real excited about Bayou Brewfest around here and I know this is the second year. So can you tell us a little bit about what people can expect this year? Yeah, so um, our event last year was our first year that we did, that we kicked this off. It was a kind of a spin-off of a, a prior event that we had. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're keeping the Cajun theme. Uh, we're keeping um, live Cajun uh, style themed music uh, along with food catered by walk-ons. We're going to have a Zydeco band that opens up. Uh, for the Spasmatics, and uh, the Spasmatics are a big headliner. They were a huge hit last year, uh, and to top it all off, it's a, it's a brew fest, so there's going to be a, a, a beer garden with about 17 different vendors uh, from all over, and so it's going to be a, a great event. If, we, if last year was any indication and we anticipate the growth to happen this year, uh, last year we had about 700 people. Um, wow. This year we're anticipating, you know, 800 plus. So it, it's going to be a great, great event, great atm atmosphere. And that's awesome. You know, 700 people trying to get more this year because, as we discussed a little earlier, this is your one and only fundraising event mm -hmm. that the Rotary Club has. Can you tell us what this event will help benefit? Absolutely. Um, so we do different service projects uh, throughout the year, and it's at the discretion of our board members, our Rotarians. Uh, we go out and find different um, projects available to us, not only locally, but internationally as well. We do some international projects. One of the big projects that we partner on uh, is Tim's Coats. Uh, we, our club, 
Uh, Tim's part of our club and so we're, we're a strong advocate for what our Rotarians do um, and what they're involved in. Uh, the proceeds from this event basically go towards causes like that. Um, this year alone I have, um, the club has pledged uh, $60,000 that we're able to give away uh, in different service projects. So the success of this event kind of leans in on how much we can do uh, for people of need, people uh, that are looking for, you know, help in any way that they can, mm -hmm. uh, while also, you know, serving the community in any way that we can. It's a great event to attend. If people are interested, where can they find those tickets? Yeah, so at, on our website, edinburghrotary.org, uh, we have a link where it'll take you straight to purchasing the tickets if you so choose to want to do that online. Uh, online you can purchase a ticket uh, and on there it spells out the different uh, packages that are inclusive of that and what comes um, included in it and what uh, benefits you have from those uh, from those different levels of sponsorships. Absolutely. Well, of course, we want to thank Danny again for joining us and giving us all of those great details. The Bayou Brewfest is happening on March 23rd, so make sure you get your tickets today before they sell out. You can visit them on their website. And once again, Danny, thank you, and we'll see you out at Bayou Brewfest. Absolutely. Here's what's happening across the RGV this weekend. Monster Jam is going on this weekend at the Paint Arena in Hidalgo. For tickets or more information, visit Ticketmaster.com. And the city of Westlago is celebrating Onion Fest today in downtown Westlago all day until 10 p.m. There will be live music, onion eating contests, and lots of fun. If you're a Swifty who loves baseball, UTRGV Baseball is hosting Swifty Night tonight at their game against Grand Canyon. The game starts at 6.30. For tickets, visit GoUTRGV.com. It's another good week because we have another baby visiting us. This is Malachi, and you, as you can see, he's a pretty big boy, but he is actually only just one month. He is a shepherd mix, and of course, like all of our babies that visit us, he's looking for his new forever home and a new family to give him so much love. We know that person could be watching right now, so the number that you see on your screen is gonna get you all the information for the Palm Valley Animal Society. That is where Malachi and so many animals are waiting for you to visit and maybe take them home. For Take 5's Pet of the Week, I'm Millicent Olivares. Thank you so much for spending your Saturday morning with us. Join us tomorrow as we visit an antique store in downtown Mission, and we'll see you tomorrow morning at 1030.